Fridge scaping. Hi, my name is Renee. I'm an appliance care and maintenance specialist, and this is the latest trend sweeping the appliance side of the internet fridge scaping. And yes, it is pretty much exactly what you think it is. Decorating the inside of your fridge in an aesthetically pleasing way, often with greenery, and just basically making it look fancy. Seeing as this is a viral trend, of course there are already more than enough videos making fun of this practice. And I'm not here to yuck anybody else's yum. Why waste your energy? The world is already negative enough as it is. So I'm not gonna knock it, but what I will do is tell you how to fridge scape responsibly, because there are a few things you need to know about your fridge before you fridge scape it. So this is the inside of a refrigerator. You'll notice that on the back panel there are a lot of little holes. Those holes are where the cold air blows out from. So first of all, if you're going to fridge scape, make sure you don't block any of those holes. Otherwise, you can disrupt the airflow, which can make your fridge cool inconsistently. You also want to make sure that you don't put any greenery too close to them in general, because leafy green things tend to freeze pretty easily, and that's the coldest spot in your fridge. Depending on the style of fridge you have, those vent holes may be in different places. For example, this is on a French door refrigerator, where the doors open like this. These are the vent holes on a top mount refrigerator, which is a refrigerator that has the freezer on the top and the fresh food section on the bottom. And this is the inside of a side-by-side -side refrigerator, which has a vertical freezer on one side and a vertical fresh food section on the other side. Now in this type specifically, all of the cooling happens inside the freezer, and then there's a fan inside the freezer that blows cold air from the freezer into the top part of the refrigerator. And because cold air sinks, the cold air is going to sink from the top down to the bottom, and then recirculate through a vent at the bottom that connects back to the freezer. And that's how it circulates the air. But because the cold air comes in at the top part of the fresh food section, section. On a side-by-side -side fridge, the top part of the fresh food section is the coldest area. So if you have anything more susceptible to freezing, you want to put it a little bit lower. So if you choose to fridge scape, just be mindful of where the ventilation is for your fridge so you don't block the airflow and so you don't freeze any of your greenery. Always fridge scape responsibly.